In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this fun graphic zoom transition. Hi, my name is Manuel. We'll create and animate these triangular shapes, then put everything together, add speed lines, and finally add some footage. So, better stick around. Let's dive right in. First, we create a new comp, HD resolution, name it Triangle 1. Duration 48 frames. I add all my comps to a folder in the project window. We click in the timeline window, press Command or Ctrl Y to add a new solid. Name it background and use the effects and presets window to add a four color gradient. Then we choose four colors, two of them dark purple, two of them dark blue. There should be some difference between the colors, but not too much contrast. We move the points a little and readjust the colors to create a smooth gradient. Then add some jitter, which is like grain to avoid color bending. Next, we click in the timeline window and add another solid. Let's name it mask and change the color into white. Okay. Next, we need the tile and action safe. Then grab the pen tool and draw a triangular shape around the center. Switch to the selection tool and adjust the path a little. Then we go to 10 frames, press M to open the mask path property, select the path and press Command or Control T to transform it. We hold Command or Control and Shift to scale it up until it's completely out of the screen. This should be fine and add a mask path keyframe. Then we go to the beginning and scale it way down. Like this maybe. Make sure the shape is still in the center. Then we press Command or Control T to rotate the shape to the left while holding Shift until it snaps. The scale is linear right now, which doesn't look right at all. We select the two keyframes and open the graph editor. Make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected. The scale speed should be exponential, so we drag the first point down and drag the handle as far to the right as possible. Then drag the handle of the right point as far to the right as possible. Alright, that's much better. We use the mask layer as luma mat for our background. Then we duplicate the layer, name it drop shadow. Let's actually make it visible. Go into the solid settings, uncheck affect all layers that use the solid and change the color into black. All right, it's all dark again for a moment. We open both mask properties and use the parent pick whip to link the top mask path to the bottom one and delete the keyframes of the top one. Then we duplicate the mask and set the mode to subtract. We set the mask expansion to minus five pixels and add a mask feather of 30 pixels. We basically created an inner drop shadow. Set keyframes at the beginning, then go to 10 frames and set the mask expansion to around minus 25. The feather to around 165 pixels. We duplicate the solid and set the blending mode to dancing dissolve to get that rough grainy look. Now we should link the mask feather and the mask expansion to the layer below. And delete the keyframes. Then we duplicate the mask layer one more time, move it to the top, name it Light and add Saber. A free plugin which creates amazing light effects along paths. I've put the link in the description below. First of all, we open the render settings and set the composite settings to transparent. Then we open Customize Core and change it to Layer Masks. There are all kinds of amazing presets here, my favorite is Neon, so I'll stick to that and reduce the core size to 0.5. Alright, that's the first shape. Just three more to go. We duplicate the triangle one comp, open it. First of all, we change the background color slightly and add a little bit of red to all the colors, so they turn into purple. We want the colors at the beginning of the transition to be more blue and turn more and more into red by the end of the transition. Then we open the mask layer and the mask path property, go to the second keyframe, press Command or Control T and rotate the shape to the right while holding Shift. We let it snap two times. We go to the beginning and let it snap once, so that the shape has a different angle than the previous one. Mm, I think we forgot to link a mask here. We need to link that mask to the mask of the mask layer. Delete the keyframes. Awesome. A second shape. We repeat that two more times. Triangle 3 has a purple to kind of pink color gradient and a bright pink neon light. 
Triangle 4 is all red and has a green neon light. Awesome! Let's put that transition together. We create a new HD comp, Command or Control N, call it transition, 48 frames long. And add a new solid, name it background and add a 4 color gradient. I go for a pretty dark blue purple gradient. So two colors, almost black, one a dark purple, one a dark blue. Then let's arrange these points to get a smooth gradient and again add a lot of jitter. Then we add the triangle 1 comp at 6 frames. The triangle 2 comp at 12 frames. The triangle 3 comp at 18 frames. And the triangle 4 comp at 24 frames. Awesome! To simulate more speed, let's add some pretty simple speed lines. Let's get the title action saved back. With no layer selected, we grab the pen tool. Then we draw a line from just right of the center point towards the right edge. No fill, stroke width 60 pixels. Then we go into the shape property. Let's name it speed line first of all. Into the stroke settings and open the taper menu. We set the start length to 100%. Now the line looks like it has some perspective. Let's open the path property, switch to the selection tool and drag that right point out of the screen and set a path keyframe. Then we go to three frames, select both points and move them to the right, like halfway out of the screen. We set the end point of the layer at four frames. Then we move it to around eight frames and change the rotation. This is our first speed line. We duplicate the layer and rotate it to give the line another direction. Let's add a few more then. Try and keep it kind of random. The last ones at around 30 frames. Some adjustments. Awesome. One last thing. To add footage, we create two new comps. The first one, footage beginning, 24 frames long. And footage end. Then we add footage to each of them. Alright, we add the first one right at the beginning, above the background solid. We want the second one to be revealed by the triangle 4 comp. So we add it just above that comp at 24 frames. Then we duplicate the triangle 4 comp up here in the project window. And name it triangle 4 mask. Open it, delete all layers except the mask one. Make it visible. Then go back to the transition comp and add it above the footage. Next, we set track mat of the footage end comp to luma mat. Then we go to six frames and open the scale and opacity property for the first footage comp. And add keyframes. Then we go to 12 frames, set the scale to 200%, the opacity to zero. Then we select the two scale keyframes and open the graph editor. And adjust the speed curve, like before. Awesome! That movement kind of connects the footage to the transition. We go to 24 frames and open the scale property of the second footage comp and set it to around 35%. Add a keyframe. Then we move to the right until the triangle hits the border of the comp and set it back to 100%. We select the points and open the graph editor again to smooth the animation a little. Making sure the footage fills the triangle completely all the time. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. See you in the next video. Bye!